this video is about Brett Roloff, Rick McCormick, and of course, James Hammond, Scott DaCosta, that's a no-brainer. Now, I made some comments this morning. I got on my news feed a sponsored advertisement for James Hammond who is trying to become sheriff of Dual County. This is the guy who won many officers in Dual County who wouldn't take a report about the threats, harassment, and assaults. Big issue. Now, I went to him for a reason. He didn't want to do his job. He wasn't interested in doing his job. Just like every other goddamn cop in that town, all they're interested in doing is looking the other way. A lot of people want to claim that they helped me. Well, if they didn't speak up, they didn't help me. So you could have spent 10 years wasting money on stupid shit like moving me from this place to that place but if you never speak up about it well then you didn't help me because see these officers want to pretend that I didn't try to get help there's also the fact that after what they did it was unsafe for me to go to Dual County Sheriff's Department for anything <coughs> Now, James Hammond decided that, apparently, me typing on there that he belongs in prison was not okay. He didn't like that. So, of course, he blocked me on his advertisement. Now, let's see, we'll go to my pictures. A lot of scrolling. That's right, everything is full of evidence. <coughs> mm. Forgot I got it on low video quality. <coughs> because it saves it to my computer. <coughs> Obviously, I am not in the best health today. But I'm also not dead. Now, Rick McCormick wants to speak for Shannon Alvarado. Wants to make claims that are untrue and just be an outright fucking cunt rag about it, which is fine. I took the screenshots, and of course, I blocked him for my channel. Now, Shannon Alvarado, she could get on here and type. That would make a difference. Brett Roloff, well, he already admitted everything that I needed him to admit. I took the screenshots. No further need for him to be on here either. These people could have been honest. <coughs> but you can't expect a drug addict to be honest. You can't expect a drug dealer to be honest no matter how much they promise, no matter how much they swear up and down. The first thing to go when you've been drinking or drugging is your common fucking sense. So I got what I needed. That's pretty important. Now it's a matter of getting it turned in. The problem is, 
all of these government agencies wipe each other's backsides. These places are a big, giant, goddamn circle jerk. That's not acceptable. So, when you don't have family or anyone who actually genuinely cares, you're pretty screwed. A lot of people cared almost. They just didn't speak up. Shannon Alvarado should have written everything down, but she wrote down the parts that were not important. And I saw her notes between what I got and her notes, her notes are pretty well useless. There's probably a couple things in there that come in handy, but not really. However, with Rick McCormick saying Shannon did or did not this, that, and the other, well, here's the facts of the matter. I've got Shannon Alvarado recorded on my channel saying those things. So if I've got Shannon Alvarado recorded on my channel saying things that Rick McCormick claims that she did not say, well, Rick McCormick don't get to speak. Just like with James Hammond, he don't like what I got to say. He don't want me to speak. That's fine. And that's perfectly fine. When it comes to a court of law, however, it's a very different story. And we should all be allowed to defend ourselves. Cops do not care about you. If you've got money, they will do their job because they're afraid of losing their job because you have money and you can squash them with your wallet. If James Hammond has a heart attack and dies, I'm going to be pissed off. Because the example needs to be set, that son of a bitch belongs in prison with Sheriff Scott DaCosta. Now, Brett Roloff wanted to get into a, a group chat with others where there was a comment that was obviously not meant for him. Obviously, he's never been to Chapel, Nebraska. Obviously, he doesn't live there now. And basically, just like everyone else, wants me to keep his name out of my mouth. Fuck you. Not gonna happen. <clears throat> now, after telling me that he don't want me to harass him and blah, 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 blah. I suppose I should probably read his exact words because I don't want to be, well, misrepresenting the situation like DaCosta or any of his deputies. Over 20 of them have been released in the last four years. <coughs> released from their positions. Anyway, I typed, as much as renting me the camper would please me. It's unsafe for me in chapel. I'm grateful for the offer. If I'm not there, DaCosta can't use the threat of CPS against Alice again. And Brett Roloff typed, Leave me the fuck alone. Stop harassing me for the last time or I will take actions to ensure you do. Well, that's a threat. That's an open-ended threat. And if you guys have listened to the thing with Brett, yes, you can hear in the tone of his voice that it is intentionally threatening. Um, now I typed, obviously this ain't the place to type anymore, miss, and of course the lady's name. Now as far as Brett Roloff goes, he's still on my friends list. Imagine that. He also came onto this here YouTube channel after pretending that I was harassing him. 
and this is stop harassing me for the last time playing victim you know this guy victimized the shit out of me he took advantage of me and it wasn't right now as far as the situation that happened between me and him while I was there in Bristol Virginia when he was supposedly gonna help me he's pissed off because there's a video on my YouTube channel of him digging through his own feces for a meth bag that he swallowed. Mm. But then there's also the fact that after pretending that I was harassing him and being threatening towards me, well, here's the thing, I was leaving him alone. I was not harassing him. What I was doing is speaking out on my YouTube channel about the situation. And he wanted to get on there after typing this and harass me some more. On the bright side, the good thing about him getting on and harassing me some more is that, well, I got screenshots of it. And since I have those screenshots, I really don't have any need for him. He should have come forward and told the truth to begin with. <clears throat> Most of the people that get ejected from my channel, they're either trolls or spammers. And it's easy to get rid of them. And you see how when Brett wanted to be threatening and play victim, how easy it was for me to remove him from the situation. How easy it was to remove Rick McCormick from the situation. Now, that doesn't mean they're not going to continue to try to make my life hell from a distance. But they're not the ones I need to worry about. I left the situation with Rick McCormick. I left the situation with Brett Roloff. Those were both dangerous situations for me. There were also both situations where I couldn't do the things that I needed to do, and the help that I was offered also was not there. Lovely. What I have to worry about is predators that are close at hand. Predators who can use and abuse their power. People like James Hammond and Scott DaCosta. Cody Selhorst is no longer here. He's out of state. But then there's Jared Hahn. He is still here. Crooked cops wipe each other's asses. And in a small town like Chapel, Nebraska, Polly Olson helps to wipe their asses too. Same thing with Ashley Bauer. These are the ones who got to decide whether or not I was allowed medical treatment while in Lincoln Correctional Center. This is immoral. The County Safe Keep program does not keep people safe. Matter of fact, it denies them rights. It denies them their rights more than a convicted felon. Here in Nebraska, sending somebody who is not a convicted felon, who isn't convicted of anything, matter of fact, sending them to prison, they're denied all of the rights of a prisoner in that prison. Do you know why? Because they have to go through dual county. This is abuse of power. Polly Olson helped. Ashley Bauer helped. That's not okay. Of course, why wouldn't they? They're friends with Scott DaCosta. Well, Polly is anyway. Not okay. Definitely not okay. Now, I can speak up on that advertisement that came across my page this morning. I spoke up. 
Hammond didn't like it and he took it down. For me, I'm not going to deal with Rick McCormick. Just not necessary. I will deal with Shannon Alvarado in a professional and courteous manner if she is sober. But short of that, yeah, I ain't got no use for the woman. If she can't be honest, if she can't come forward about what she knows and wants to play victim, she's not a victim. What she did was wrong. She did wrong things because she's an alcoholic. And I'm not going to take responsibility for that. Brett Roloff did wrong things because he's a meth addict. I'm not going to take responsibility for that. He said I shouldn't have come there. <coughs> well, he invited me repeatedly over and over since 2015. would have been nice to know he was addicted to meth before I showed up, just like it would have been nice to know that Shannon Alvarado was addicted to alcohol before I showed up. Now, James Hammond, <coughs> he doesn't live in Sherman Oaks like Shannon Alvarado does. He doesn't live in North Carolina like Brett Roloff does. He lives in Chapel, Nebraska. <coughs> he lives in one of my old teacher's house. The house that used to belong to Mr. Mayhar. Gotta love it. 